this is a traditional design of last speaker driver it has got a single coil and a single permanent magnet I have two modifications first up I'm going to increase the number of coils by adding this diaphragm instead of this one you can see there are three coils here and at the same time I'll increase the number of permanent magnets this should increase the forces of attraction and repulsion between the diaphragm and the magnets and, I, and as a result the volume should be louder My second modification is about increasing the range of frequencies that a driver can produce. Normally drivers can produce a range of frequencies. So when we require a wide range of frequencies, people use multiple drivers at the same time like a smaller one and a larger one. I am going to use this diaphragm. You can see that this also has got multiple coils but you can see the diaphragm has been divided into two parts, this sm smaller part and the larger part. The smaller coil can move the smaller part of the diaphragm while the larger coil can move the whole of the diaphragm. The inner part of the diaphragm will be good at producing high frequencies and the, lar and the outer one will be good at producing lower frequencies. Unlike the first modification, this time the coils won't be operated at the same time. When a high frequency sound will come, the inner one will be operated and when a lower frequency sound will come, the outer one will be operated. In this design also I am going to add multiple magnets. Last speaker drivers have a lot of applications from cell phones to music systems and I have modified the existing designs either to achieve a higher amplitude or to achieve a wider range of frequencies from the same size device. The same principle can be extended to microphones which convert sound waves to electrical signals and these do have a wide range of applications. As a result, I think that these modifications can bring a lot of benefit to today's sound systems. Thank you.